Welcome to part one of my series on the new Microsoft Cloud PKI. I'm going to take Drew creating the root CA and the intermediate CA as we get ready for the launch of this exciting new product, which is part of the Intune suite. So you can see here I'm inside a tenant admin. I'm going to click create and we're going to call this demo CA. And then this next section here is pretty straightforward. You have to create the root CA first. That's the main key. We'll go 10 years, that's fine. Another key here is you have to make sure you select the EKUs or extended key usages that you want to use on your issuing CA. So I'm just going to put a few in here. Really just kind of depends on your use cases. Now here, the only thing you really need to put in there is the common name. If you want to put in the rest of the attributes to build out your distinguished name of your CA, you can, but I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to pick the strongest encryption. Keep in mind, that's just what you can go up to, so you can actually issue certs at a lower rate. I'm going to click Next. I'm not going to scope it, but you certainly could. You want to make sure you double check everything here, because at this juncture, you can't actually delete them, which is kind of tricky. But So from here, we're going to click Create. And it's going to build that CA. Let's just take a minute or two here. If we refresh, we now see our demo CA. Now part two is we'll go and create the issuing CA. So we're going to call this demo CA. We're going to hit next. Now we're hitting issuing CA. Cool thing here is you can actually anchor to your own private CA, but we're not going to do that here. We're going to select Intune. And we're hoping we're going to see our new one, and we are. It'll sh she is, it shows active. We will go two years. And then we're, we can select a couple of the EKUs that we had already done on our route. And then we're going to call this demo CA issuer. Leave everything else. You see here, it locks you into this. Which is interesting because you thought that maybe you could actually go weaker, but you cannot, as it completely inherits from the root CA. We're going to hit next, next, and again, make sure you check everything because you cannot modify the majority of it after you're done. Now we're going to click create and we'll check things out once we're done. So you can see here under the issuing, let's kind of go in and take a look at it. I'm going to notice here that we don't actually have proper URIs yet, which is fine, as we just want to kind of show you how this whole thing works. So you can see here, you'll have your skip URI and all that. You'll have your certs that you'll end up downloading when you deploy it out. So you can see here, you have the same thing for both your root and your intermediate, where you can see that. But you can see these are talking about how they're in private preview. So it looks like we might just not be quite ready yet. But overall, a really neat and easy deployment for the uh, cloud PKI.